Hi guys, I'm Darren and in this video we're going to be looking at what you should do if you disarm in flight. Now this video is related to INAV and what you should do if you disarm. The reason for this video is there's been issues been brought back from a while in the INAV GitHub and people just aren't sure what to do or get stuck, panic, that sort of thing if they accidentally disarm in flight. So in this video I thought I would go over what you should do and how you can get your model back quite easily. A while back I made a video to show how to quickly rearm your model if you do accidentally disarm it in flight. So I'll put a link to that in the video description. So if you want to implement that, you can check that out as well. It's an old video, but it is still relevant today. But first, let's have a look at why we can't just flick the switch if we've not made that change. Right, so here we are in iNav Configurator. The Mini AR Wing is just connected. That's what I'm going to be using in the video today. And I thought, first, let's just check out the modes page. Now, on here, we can see all our different modes that we have programmed for our model. You can see we got these in light blue. But if I switch to course hold, for example, you can see it's in dark blue. Now that means that iNav can't use that mode at the moment, which you may already know, but this is also a very good indicator to what you can't have enabled if you want to arm in flight. So if we try to arm in course hold, it won't let us arm. Same will go for cruise, loiter, return to home, waypoint missions. All those navigation modes will not yet let you arm if you're in flight. So the easiest thing to do is put it in a non-navigational mode. So we're looking at angle, horizon if you use it, acro or manual. Any of those modes will let you arm straight away. The other thing is make sure that your throttle is down. So if your throttle's in the middle somewhere, it won't let you rearm. So just lower the throttle and there we go. If you've got auto launch permanently enabled, it will either just sort of trigger out and realize that it's above the high altitude or if it's on a timer, you can just move the sticks to cancel it. So next, what I'm gonna do is go into programming, just make sure that I don't have that change on that lets me rearm in flight. So basically I've got some logic here that will let me rearm in flight if certain conditions are met. Uh, so I'm gonna just turn that off and save it. And that means that it will not have that magic in there. This is purely raw. There's nothing that's actually going to save me other than me setting the modes correctly and, you know, arming again myself. So let's head into hardware in the loop and have a fly. Okay, so we've just taken off in hardware in the loop and we're just going to go for a little fly. Now, what I'm going to clear up some of this OSD. Right, so let's get a bit of altitude. So we're at about 250 feet. And what I'm gonna do is disarm. Disarmed. Now you can see the nose drops, but we're still in control of the aircraft. If I rotate left and right, I can rotate left and right. As long as we know, maintain a bit of a downwards pitch to keep our speed up, everything is fine. So all I'm gonna do is switch, flick the arm switch. Arming. Disarmed. Arming. And it's not going to work. Disarmed. Arming. Disarmed. Oh, throttle's not low. Arming. There we go. So that was close, but um, the thing to notice here is not to panic. Obviously, there was something blocking it, but unfortunately, the OSD uh, screen was in the way. So the first rule of Disarm Club is get rid of that OSD screen. So let's get up high again. Let's disarm. And it's not actually showing me the disarm screen this time. Right, so let's push up and that will get rid of the screen. So briefly, we're gonna push up. So let me raise the throttle. It says throttle is not low. If I switch to a navigation mode, it tells me navigation needs to be disabled. Let's arm, let's get a bit of throttle going. And you can see all this time, it's, it's not actually causing much problems. I'm still at 200 feet now. You don't need to panic. The, actually, using the hardware in the loop, if you've got access to it, is a great way of practicing this thing. To be honest, we were about 100 feet. We still had plenty of time. 
There was a tuning mode that didn't let you rearm, so it possibly was auto trim. I don't actually use that anymore, I just used a continuous auto trim. So if you're in auto trim and you can't arm, you need to come out of that. But you can see there's not really any real problem. So let's go for another thing. Let's stick it in cruise mode. So that's a navigation mode. We'll have our throttle there. We'll just cruise about. And let's descend a bit. I mean, 200 feet is sort of like an average height, I guess, for most people. So let's stick around there. So whatever this level's out at, we'll stick to. And all we're gonna do, once again, I'm gonna disarm, flick up. See, we need to disable the navigation mode, so I'm gonna stick it in manual. Lower the throttle. We're still at 100 feet. We've only gone half the distance and I've still got plenty of glide. I wasn't controlling the glide at all. If you control it, you've got more. So we're at 50, 30, 20, um, apply throttle, and away we go. The, the biggest key to this, let's stick it in cruise. The biggest key to this is not to panic. It's, it's much easier said than done, but if you panic, you get in a fluster, you, um, you sort of fumble. It's, it's harder to fix the problem if you're panicking. The key is just to relax and maybe practice in the hardware in the loop. So let's disarm, let's let it land. Just a bit noisy. So the key, get rid of that screen lower the throttle, get out of navigation modes. And you can see I've, I've still not rearmed and we're almost on the ground, but I could potentially just land this. If you do get in trouble, it's a fixed wing. You can glide and land. Don't need to worry. Arming. Or you can rearm. So the main thing to take away from this is just don't panic. If you do disarm in flight, it's really not that bad. If you've got a multi-rotor, then you're gonna drop. So being able to rearm quickly with a multi-rotor is pretty essential. But if you're in a fixed wing, you've got time, you can glide, you're still in control of your aircraft. Just maintain a little bit of down pitch to keep your airspeed up and you'll be fine. The most important things with regards to the OSD is get rid of that stat screen. Just move up quick which will obviously dip the nose, but move up to get rid of the screen and then just bring the nose back up. You won't have lost that much height or speed. So don't worry about it. The next thing, have your system messages on screen in the OSD. If you don't have those, you're not gonna know what's stopping the rearm. You saw on the video, it will tell you. So it will say that the throttle is too high. It will say if you're in a navigation mode, all you need to do is correct those problems then flick the arm switch and you can rearm. As long as you don't panic, there's plenty of time. And finally, if you have got hardware in the loop or software in the loop, practice. If you crash into the ground in there, it doesn't cost you anything. And eventually you'll just get comfortable with the fact that you can disarm and rearm and it's not really a problem. But if you do find that you struggle with it still, remember there's my little trick uh, which you can do in the INAV programming tab, which will let you just rearm straight away anyway. But I hope this helped you out. If it did, please remember to give the video a thumbs up and also please remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon. That will help get this video out to more people so they can learn how to do this too. Thank you very much for watching guys. See you on the next one and fly models like you stole them. And don't worry if you disarm.